It happened in a place one never thought this type of discovery might be possible, under the cold rivers of Antarctica. Antarctica is the southernmost continent and holder of the South Pole, its freezing temperatures ranging from 14 degrees Fahrenheit to minus 76 degrees Fahrenheit. And on this frigid continent, scientists were shocked to find what was beneath its icy surfaces. Keep watching to find out what they discovered. First up, where did scientists make their discovery? The Ross Ice Shelf is the largest shelf in Antarctica. What are ice shelves, you may ask? Well, ice shelves are floating sheets of ice, permanently floating sheets of ice to be exact, that connect to a piece of land. Most of the world's ice shelves are actually located at the coasts of Antarctica, and this continent has about 300 of them. So what makes the Ross Ice Shelf so special? Well, when scientists dug through this ice shelf, they found something extraordinary underneath, marine life. Working with the National Institute of Water and Atmospheric Research, New Zealand scientists melted through the Ross Ice Shelf with a hot water hose so they could reach a special camera through the newly made 1,600-foot hole through the shelf. It was then they discovered a river under all of the ice that went up to about 6.5 miles long, which also equated to a little over 300 yards wide and was 800 feet deep. The river down below was freezing and pitch black. However, when illuminating this river with camera lights and special recording equipment, the scientists were able to look more into their new findings. What first surprised them was that the roof of these caverns was very uneven. The scientists had expected it to be smooth, but instead it was described as a loaf of bread with a bulge at the top and a narrow slope at the bottom. The water flows also differentiated from each other in this river. So what did they discover? What scientists were most stunned to discover were amphipods, a species in the crustaceans family similar to shrimp. Oceanographer Craig Stevens with the NIWA spoke on the importance of finding these creatures and how they can be of help to the research community, saying, having all those animals swimming around our camera means there's clearly an important ecosystem process happening there, which we will do more research on by analyzing water samples to test for things like nutrients. He also said there were absolute hordes of these species in this specific location. While they weren't dispersed all throughout the long river, it was still incredibly exciting. Experts had already suspected for a while that there were vast networks of similar rivers and lakes underneath Antarctica. However, those claims had never been studied until now, with the proper technology and equipment. Scientists hadn't even known if it was possible that these rivers and lakes could be habitable, which makes this discovery even more crucial. Lead researcher Hu Horgan, a glaciologist at Teherengo Waka, Victoria University of Wellington in New Zealand, told The Guardian that getting to observe and sample this water was like being the first to enter a hidden world. Horgan himself had first spotted hints of the structure in the ice in 2020 while looking at a satellite photo of the area. It had been visible as a long depression or groove stretching across the ice, a hallmark of an underground river. Yet despite these elements being prominent in the satellite images, the groove initially made scientists doubt possible surface detections. Stevens also said, but then we found this tiny gentle slope and guessed we'd got the right spot. Have scientists made groundbreaking discoveries like this before? This actually isn't, however, the first time scientists have discovered marine life. A while back last year, in the year of 2021, scientists had discovered life under 3,000 feet of Antarctica. The theory that no life could live in freezing pitch black temperatures without food sources had been debunked here once again too. This time around, scientists had drilled into the Filcher Rhone ice shelf and marine life was actually found attached to a boulder in the freezing waters. Experts from the British Antarctic Survey had drilled through 2,865 feet of ice, then another 1,549 feet of water before making this astounding discovery. Never in a million years would we have thought about looking for this kind of life because we didn't think it would be there, expert Hugh Griffiths told The Guardian. The two main species discovered were unidentified but confirmed to be part of the sponge family. The animals in red appeared to have long stalks, whereas the type of animal appeared to be more of a round, sponge-like animal. According to fossils of sponges, these species could have existed around 600 and million years ago. 8,550 living sponge species are scientifically recorded and classified in the phylum Porifera, which is made up of four distinct classes, the first being the most diverse, containing 90% of all living sponges, Demospongii, rare glass sponges, also known as Hexatinolita, and Calcareous sponges, also known as Calcarea. And lastly, the rarest class, with only 117 species in its name, Homo sclerimorpha. And sponges have the ability to attach themselves to many things, even floating debris in the ocean. So while it's surprising for scientists to have found these two not yet identified species under the water, it's not a surprise they've managed to attach themselves to a rock. What's even more surprising is that the same habitat as the sponges also housed a few jellyfish, krill, and even fish. Hugh Griffiths was puzzled by these findings. As for fish, it's hard for them to survive without sources of light. Our discovery raises so many more questions than it answers, such as how did they get there, Griffiths said in a press release. What are they eating? How 
long have they been there? What else have scientists discovered in Antarctica? Not only have scientists discovered species from two different ice shelves, but they've also discovered marine life through a third ice shelf. In 2018, researchers from Germany drilled through almost 200 meters of the Ekstrom ice shelf located in the southeastern Weddell Sea. With temperatures dropping to minus 28 degrees Fahrenheit, they too thought that the location wasn't hospitable for marine life or creatures. However, they too, like the other two groups of researchers, were proven wrong. The biodiversity was even more grand than the most recent discoveries, with scientists discovering 77 different species. This included saber-shaped bryozoans, or moss animals, as well as serpolid worms, which equated to more than the total number which had been previously known from all of Antarctica's ice shelves. The team in 2018 wasn't as puzzled and had more clues as to how these organisms survived, however, concluding that there was a key component to their survival, algae. Algae is classified as a group of predominantly photosynthetic, aquatic, and nucleus-bearing organisms that have the same reproductive structures of plants like roots, stems, leaves. Algae is not only located in the ocean, but is also located in ponds and lakes. Scientists and researchers concluded that there must be enough algae carried under the Ekstrom ice shelf from the open water to fuel a strong food web for the life underneath. And surprisingly enough, the annual growth of four of the species was comparable with similar animals in open marine Antarctic shelf habitats, according to the microscopy of samples provided. Out of this world discoveries in ice? Another example of a shocking discovery found in the ice has nothing to do with already living creatures on Earth, but living creatures that could be elsewhere. In January of 2021, researchers discovered what they called a common Martian material with an ice core from Antarctica. The mineral discovered is what we now know to be gerocyte, a brittle yellow-brown substance. Gerocyte was first discovered on Mars all the way back in 2004, when the NASA Opportunity rover had rolled over the fine-grained layers of it. What made it so unique, and what made the story pop up on headlines, was because gerocyte needs water to be formed, as well as elements such as iron, sulfate, potassium, and acidic conditions. The way it's created is fascinating, and a discovery also suggested that the substance was formed the same way not only on Earth, but on Mars as well. How is it created the same way with all of its elements? Well, it was created naturally from dust trapped within ancient ice deposits. This mineral also reveals the importance of these large glaciers on the Red Planet. Not only did these glaciers create valleys, but researchers say they also helped create the same substances Mars is made of. But if this isn't the way gerocyte was formed, it could have been formed another way. It could have been born in the massive ice deposits that might have existed on Earth billions of years ago, but instead formed within those ice deposits between the crystallized ice. Expert Giovanni Bacolo had commented on the discovery, saying, this is just the first step in linking deep Antarctic ice with the Martian environment. All of these discoveries are unique in their own ways, and we can expect more for years to come from deep within the ice as technology continues to progress. So what did you think of this video? Do you think the scientists will name the unknown species of sponge found in the ice shelf soon? And how do you think gerocyte was actually formed? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe.